My name is Kristen Brand. I am a prevention and mediation specialist uh, with Envision Partnerships, and we are working collaboratively with Middletown Middle School. So I come into Middletown Middle School and provide several different services here within the school. Uh, my name is Laura Horde, and I am one of the school counselors at Garfield Middle School in Hamilton City Schools. Um, currently this year, I'm the seventh grade counselor. Yeah, my name is Amy Mormon, and I'm the school counselor at Adena Elementary with Lakota Local Schools and I am in my 23rd year here at Adena. The thing that I've learned, I think, the most about a grieving child is that grief is ongoing. You know, you struggle and you figure out how to move forward, but along the way, there tend to be these occasions that pop up where there are anniversary dates of, you know, the things that happen at various events and grief comes back. Grief knows no boundaries, right? It's, it's, it cuts across everywhere. What I have learned about grief is that it's really like an onion, that there are so many, many layers to it. I really had, I think, a surface level understanding of grief and how grief affects children. Um, and after participating in that training, it really kind of opened my eyes um, at how long lasting the effects of grief were for children and how much it impacted you know, their daily lives. One of the first lessons that we always do with kids is this slinky lesson where they learn that grief has its ups and downs. Some days are going to be harder than others, um, but also that they can bounce back and find some balance along the way. And that's really what I see. I see the, the change in the resiliency and the growth and the strength that they have. One of the things that I think is really great about COJ is that um, it gives them that space to kind of work through their grief. But then they also, you know, just learn good life skills, coping skills. We talk frequently about coping skills and learning new ways to cope and they learn those from each other, which I love to see that. They're talking about who they have in their lives, that their, their support systems are, but they're also developing those friendships right within that group and supporting each other there, which is, you know, it's awesome to see that in those growth, the growth that happens with them together at that point. Just watching these kids lift each other up and be a support to each other um, is really something that's magical. It's not something that I get to see on a regular basis. And it is very, very touching to see these kids interact with each other. I have been in three different uh, middle schools um, in three different states. And this is the only building um, that I've been at where we have had grief support services. Um, and I really see a difference. I really feel like it is um, so important to have here. Um, and I wish that um, the other schools I had been at had had something similar to COJ. So to be able to put kids in a position where they have the supportive services that they need to do well in school and to build lasting relationships is something, again, that is super important to me and something that I see COJ definitely facilitating throughout the schools and throughout the lives of these kids. To be able to share and open up and have a place that's safe where other kids know exactly what you're feeling and you feel like you're connected in that way is, is powerful for those kids. And I, I wouldn't ever suggest that they not send their kid to one of these groups because the kids really do find connection there and it does help them heal. I need COJ because <laughs> I know there are students who are struggling and I can't do enough for them myself and I know I can't. I need to have someone to come in um, and be able to offer um, that unique support um, for them and to be able to help as many students as possible.